Back out to six. shall not have dominion yes, sir. over you. All right. For ye are not under the law, yes, sir. but under grace. grace. Yes, sir. Thus in the reading of God's holy and divine word, and I won't talk about under grace. Yeah. Right. That's mighty good. Yeah. Under Grace. Are we are we under the law? Or are we under grace when it comes to sin? good question to ask even today for believers. Are we under the law? Maybe I better ask, do you want to be under the law? Or would you prefer to be under grace? The Apostle Paul takes this opportunity to address this issue because we cannot take sin lightly. All right. All right. You write about it. You write about it. Sin is sin. Yes, it is. And whenever one sins, the law declares death as the penalty for Sin. All right, all right. We can see this in verse 23 of this same chapter for the wages of sin is death. Are there any known repeaters, known repeating offenders in the house? All right, all right, all right. Lord help, Lord help. That, that is, are there any sinners in the house? Somebody ought to be concerned about this matter of sin and the penalty of sin since all of us are guilty. Yeah, yeah. Right. Somebody, somebody ought to be concerned about are we under the law? All right. All right. Or do we need some grace? All right. come, come. Let's investigate this. Let's, let's investigate this matter of law and grace. All right. And then maybe you need to ask which one would you prefer to be under? Anybody interested in knowing? Go ahead. Now. Three, three, three things that warrants our attention. Let's investigate them. The first one is the law governs us. All right. If, if there were no law, what kind of world would we be living in? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, you see, when God created this world, he gave us his law for us to abide by. Yes. Have you ever thought about if there were no law where sin is concerned? All right, all right. I mean, we talk about how sin separates us from God in Bible study, but 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 the very act of sin is disobedience to God. Lord help, Lord help, Lord help. Now, matter of fact, the first five books of the Bible deals with the law. Yeah. Whereas God gave us to govern us in our relationship with Him and with one another. The law. One, one thing for sure, all of us have been guilty of breaking God's law. Thus right. meaning we all, we all have sinned. Yes, and, and the law says this about sin. Genesis says, "Ye shall surely die." Yeah. yeah. Romans says, "The wages of sin yeah. is death," and, and we cannot abolish the law because it still governs us. Yes. All right. I got any ticket <laughs> recipients for speed? Lord help, Lord help. That, that, that means you broke the law. Uh, right. And, 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 and I wish I knew somebody. And, 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 and if, if it, just, just think already, already, already on 35, on, on, on 290, on, 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 what's that new thing? The toll. Yeah. 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 Regardless of what the speed limit is, Michael, uh. somebody is going over. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But just imagine, just imagine if there were no speed limits. Whoa. What would traffic be like? And we, we got to understand that the law governs us. All right. All right. And, 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 and if we didn't have anything to keep us in line, keep us straight, keep us organized, we would be living in complete chaos. That's why the Lord has to give us law. Yeah. Thou shalt have no other God All right. before me. Thou, yeah. thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou yeah. shalt not bring false accusations. That God has given us some laws that we need to govern ourselves. And love your neighbor yes, right. as yourself. He's yeah. given us laws to govern ourselves. And, and To say we'll be something else. We'll be something else. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The law, law governs us. Law, law. It, it, it governs us. It, 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 it keeps us in check. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it keeps us in check. It, it keeps us in line. And if it was no law, yeah. It would be okay to hate on folk. Come, come. But we got to have law. We, 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 we have to have law. Anybody, anybody know that you got to have law? Yes, yes, yes. Matter of fact, matter of fact, this world is is already already moving out of safety zone. Right. Neighborhoods are not even sacred anymore. Schools are not even sacred anymore. It's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering how soon is it going to be before we have to put a sign on the church door that will say no weapons beyond this point. Right. Right. They're they already in the school. They are. They already posted on the door of of the stores. They they they're hello somebody because because somebody needs to be governed and so law is given. Yeah. 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 We don't like it. Anybody in here tried to beat the law? Yeah. <laughs> law is. Is given. Law is <laughs> law is is given, and it's to govern us. And, and if the truth be told, 
the believers have this book from Genesis to Revelation and this book governs us this, this book even tells that the, the young folk ought to be respectful of the older folk but then don't get too excited older generation because the Bible also talks about how the older ought to be exempt yeah
between the law yes. and God's grace. Yes. Yeah. It's not about quoting scriptures. All right, all right. It's about having a relationship, relationship. with Christ. Yes. Yes. You see, although we are guilty as can be, accepting Christ into our life provides us with the only defense attorney for sinners. <laughs> Satan wants to prosecute us. Yeah. Yeah. But Jesus wants to defend us. Yeah. Satan wants to talk about how we broke the law. Yeah. But Jesus paid it all. Yes. All right. Maybe it's hard for you to shout right there because you've never had to go to court before. Uh, yeah. I've been to court and the law says innocent until proven guilty. Yes, well. Anybody know that sometimes you're guilty before the trial starts? Right. Your defense is your attorney. Watch this. You got to be up front with him and let him know the real deal. You 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 got to confess to your attorney. Yeah. That you did. Yeah. Uh, your, your attorney, he is your defense attorney, and he's going to defend you though he knows you're guilty. Uh -huh. yeah. no. yeah. God Almighty, God Almighty. God, God. But listen, the prosecutor's going to show up to prosecute you, and they got you on video. Uh -huh. Your fingerprints. Your DNA. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And sometimes the prosecutor even got witnesses. Yeah. To prove that you are guilty. Yeah. Somebody ought to talk back to me. Somebody ought, ought, ought to talk back to me. They, yet, 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 yet he, 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 the prosecutor knows that you are guilty. He, he knows that you ought to get some time for what you've done. He knows that you did it. Yeah, yeah right. Come on now. I had a, I had, I had one of my, one of my children, one of my, one of my children, I said, that's it, I'm not spending no more money. They don't like jail. I ain't gonna worry about it. Mm. Quit spending my money. All right. To get them out of jail and they keep messing up. All right. And I decided that. I decided that. And one of the one of the prosecuting attorneys knew me and invited me to lunch. Said to me, said to me, and I'm not gonna try the case, and I know where you are. I'm not gonna try the case. But if I were to try the case, looking at the rap sheet, I wouldn't accept nothing under 20 years. Said that about my job. And they began to run down to me what was on the rap sheet. All right, come on, Pastor. About my child guilty. And you know what the prosecuting attorney says? He don't need an appointed attorney. You need to pay one that's going to work for them. And if you pay for one, trust me, he ain't going to get 20 years. Although I said I wasn't, I did. And just like they said, they didn't get 20 years. And God is saying unto us is that the devil, 
Come on. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Wants to prosecute you. Yeah. 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 He got your own tape. Yeah. Yeah. He got your own video. Come on now. Come on now. He, yeah. He got you. He done recorded everything you said. Yeah. Yeah. He recorded everything you've done. Yeah. And your rap sheet. Yeah. Well, if it's anything like mine. Come on now. Come on.
word. Yeah. All have sin. Yeah. All come show yeah. of the glory of God. Yes. I messed up. But his grace. grace. Yeah. Sin destroys us. Yeah. Sin separates us from God. on our faults yes. sees our needs I don't know about anybody else but I need him yes. anybody up in here need him besides me yes. anybody up in here need him you know you know you can't get his grace until you confess yes. you got to confess your sins yes. watch this to the Lord right don't mean come down here sit in the chair and tell us what you've done. No, no. You come down here, you get your 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 your, your, your relationship right with God. You confess your sins to Him. And know that God is faithful and He's just to forgive us from all of us. And you know, it don't even matter what you don't let nobody fool you. Try to make you think that you just that bad and you can't be forgiven. That's not so. He loves us. He sent us his son to die for us. And that's what I like. The Bible said while we were yet sinners. That ought, that ought to be some real love. He didn't, he didn't wait for us to get right. Yeah. Like that's what the devil, the devil holds the folk back. You you want to join church, but you're talking about as soon as I get my life straight. You can't get us straight without him. Right. Right. And that's a hold that the devil has on you. You ought to tell the devil to loose you and let you go. God wants to forgive you. Yeah. And God wants us to come to him just as we are. Yeah. I'm under grace. And I thank God for his amazing yeah, grace. Yeah, yeah. For I was a wretch undone. Woo, yes, but God. But God. Yes. But God. Mm, mm, mm. I'm broke as can be, but I'm under grace. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I'm under grace. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got a pass. And sometimes, can we just be real? My present don't even look good. Right. Right. But I'm under grace. Right. He said, shall we, shall we continue since we're not under the law? And, and, and the answer was, God forbid. Yeah. Let the law continue to govern us. Yes. But when you need grace, you ought to go get it. All right. You got to have a repenting spirit. Yes. You got to feel sorry for your wrong. Yes. You got to confess it. Be sorry for it. And then have enough to tell the Lord, I, I don't, I don't want to do that no more. All right. That's right. And some of some of your sins, you got to tell the Lord, I don't want to do it no more, but I'm gonna need some help. Okay. Cause this this one got me. This one, y'all ought to talk back to me. This, this one got a hold of me, Lord. I, I'm gonna need some help with this one. All right. All right. Or oh, I might can stop that one. I might can give up that one. But this one. Yeah. Yeah. And he's faithful. Yes, he is. And he's just to forgive us. And if you are living strictly under the law, I offer to you grace this morning. All right, all right. You can live under grace. Yes. And right now we want to afford you an opportunity to get under God's grace. Yes. Some man, some woman, some boy, girl. If you don't have a church home, today is a good day. To get into relationship with him. Him who died that we might live. Yes. And if you hear as we see this number, all you gotta do is.
just come. Take that walk of faith. Take that walk to come to Jesus.